jerk. Like them coming from the, the Latin American region would imply because up until this year with the merge between North America and Latin America, Latin America was definitely a very, very weak region. However, it was always, it, this isn't unique to KPI, right? Because we were dealing mm. with a completely different format, but how would they manage their play style from most chickens into this format was always going to be a big question. They didn't get the most kills despite getting the wins and knowing how to play around the 2020. Uh, but then the fact that they were able to really stack up a bunch of kills this past weekend despite having control of center-ish compounds not all of them in super um oppressive positions was not i don't want to say a shock in the way that we know these guys are fraggers but it's something that we hadn't necess necessarily seen but really it's only phase one you don't want to push your positioning too much and get into a fight like we saw <laughs> team liquid uh just get in yeah. when phase two really could just completely change the nature side of 17 which is just a bit out in the open and Xiao Bei was a bit it was kind of hidden he wasn't revealing himself too aggressively while clip was taking that initial position so he's there to be able to catch him off guard and yeah makes the only choice is to roll away mm -hmm. i don't dislike the idea of them trying to defend once james got knocked it's just the timing was a little bit off 17 super super quick on being able to pull the trigger to take that engagement and they get three kills off of it and circle 117 just don't mess with them just avoid them at all yeah. fighting early years batulin's rolling around that uh, intersection area seeing where people are he's going to get a few shots sent his way tixu Gonna be the one to do the honors. Perfectix tries to take you back just to make sure his man gets out of there free and clear. And now VP has a pretty good idea that that intersection is already occupied. They should be, able, they should be pretty comfortable there on the north side of that. Sure. Chilling out around Severny. Obviously, if Northern Hardship goes their way, they'll be able, they'll be in a good spot to capitalize. Oh my God, Clib. And, and to be fair, look. It, even though Liquid obviously suffering a little bit here in this first game, performing up to expectations, which yes, let's be let's be honest, the European teams in international events this year so far haven't really been doing. Yeah, Liquid definitely liking what we're seeing from out of them. I think outside of VP, there's always there was always going to be a, a few question marks on how exactly they were going to perform, but Liquid are looking like their old selves essentially. Like, th their 2021 performances across the PCS and, and a bit of Heroic probably going to be having to loop all the way down the south side. I don't know how many of these teams are going to be going for those Yasnaya fields because of how rough a position that's going to be going into the mid game. But it might be the only place they can enter safely. Easternmost player, the westernmost is Pio, who is all the way in Razak. I mean, you like, got Asura on Potato Mountain, Pio all the way up in Razog. Esther is in package. I mean, they, they are just all over this western flank right now. That is some information gathering split if I've ever seen one. We'll see if it pays off for them in the end or if they end up losing anybody early as uh, Genji's been having some issues. Hey. Um, okay. Well, there you go. All right. Well, now you know that there's somebody north of the river. Good, good information. Good to, ha good to have that information, I guess. When the rest of your team is at Potato Mountain, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really get that one. But hey, far be it from me to question the uh, the, the work of the masters over there. Have TSM just up on the hills off to the west here. Good approach by VP for now. They can use the low ground of this field entryway to try and gain position to perhaps grenade GNL now out. But it looks like nope. They're just gonna fall away. The thing is, they can't really go to Yasnaya, so instead they're probably going to set up in this particular compound. But Julian is going all the way to the north for a bit of a split position down that ravine. Open, but as far as center is concerned, everything's basically been taken. So you can see Heroic, they're just stopping in a dip. And the rest of Gen G, where are they going to go? They're going to take the top of the right hill. In the middle. I guess, yeah. yeah. They're, they're just... going to be in grenade range from a bunch of different teams that they stay here. They're driving right through the middle of everybody. And Esther is uh, on the back end of this, and he's getting shot up right now as he tries to rejoin the rest of his teammates. And there you go, he's gonna go down to Leklo as uh, Donawa has regrouped on J compound. They managed to get the knock. Uh, the splush will get stolen away by Ling Dude. That's Gen G now down to two off a uh, very ambitious rotation to the center of the circle here in circle number three. I mean, if you look at their position with the phase two hardship to the, to the east. On the hunt for just about any head that pops up in their scopes. You know they'll take it. And this is a really good sight line. It's on the edge. They're going to have to play aggressive to get to the late game. But 
that's come on it's 17 they're going to be doing uh, if you like you said if this was a decision born of losing po uh in the early game or if this is just something that they knew if they knew that the circle was uh, had a high percentage chance of going here. Either way, it's working out wonders for him right now. As now Ents has to figure out how to get back down to the south. They've got VP up there. You can see Batulans or Perfectix rather starting to creep around over in that area to see if he can spot out anybody. And no shots coming through just yet. So it looks like Ents is. They gotta get into the circle. It's gonna start closing in only a couple of seconds. The question is, Indeed. where are they gonna go? The spear, the last member of Ghibli, right in the way. Hasn't made himself revealed just yet instead of mcg they are the main Ooh. defenders here and this is really the only goal that ends could find but they're able to get into the compound this is huge top side Ooh. members of mcg not really in a position to support and to help and that re that requires the other members to just bail to just leave kinky is staying around that's about it everyone else is going to the upper compound that's a hell of a rotation for man says ling do will get spotted out and ghibli gonna go down a nice spray from Asura as Gen G. I mean, it might be down to two, but damn, they are holding their position strong here as Oath oh. has been kind of hanging out in this northeastern side of that smoke cloud, thinking that that might be where Diggory's hiding. And there you go. He'll find him. And now Soul, can he get res before they have to move? Fortunately for them, Fury engaging in a fight with SSG. No. Put out whatever was left of SSG before they turned their full over attention over towards Donawa. Donawa still two up, but not getting involved. Burry round finally leaving their compound. They're gonna get right on top of Gen G. The grenades are gonna come out, but they're not gonna find the mark. Here is MCG still holding that hillside on the north, not pushing too far just yet. Now Gen G has been forced to push into Fury. This is good. They're leaving Burry Rum and MCG to fight it out to the north side. And instead, they're just going to enter the melee. We have a leg in the final engagement. But we still have one more shift to go. And these teams have all just been delaying this final fight because of how much is on the line. They're so close. They can taste victory. And, oh, Keenan just can't. Oh, get no, it. Roth. Oh, gets dropped by Roth. Oh, that feels super bad. That feels super bad there. Okay, five teams alive. 14 players still up as MCG is going to roll right on top of Gen G. Murray Ram is going to wrap around on the north side while they've all just been delaying this final fight because of how much is on the line. They're so close. They can taste victory. And, oh, Keenan just can't. Oh, get no, the Roth. Attack. He gets dropped by Roth. Oh, that feels super bad. That feels super bad there. Okay, five teams alive. 14 players still up as MCG is going to roll right on top of Gen G. Murray Ram is going to wrap around on the north side while MG, MCG is finishing off Gen G finally. And they might be able to take advantage here of MCG as their focus was. The smoke wall has been set down by MCG, but they're going to take the fight now. Lingdu is going to be immediately taken down. So it's a 3v3 fight between Fury and MCG. Evil E. Oh, Tanky going to go down. But oh my God. Just like that, MCG.